I thought I'd show you today a problem that my students get a lot and that's how to mix greens, how to mix the right green that they want every single time, whether it be a bright green or a turquoise or a khaki, a dull green and so on. And if you only use one yellow and one blue you will constantly only get the same type, type of green because of the way those colours react with each other. But once you understand how we see colour you, you can see that paint reflects more than just one colour that we see. For example, ultramarine here is a violet blue. Cerulean blue is a green blue. Lemon yellow is a green yellow. Cadmium yellow is an orange yellow. And yellow ochre is a dark orange yellow. So when you're trying to mix your colours, once you get to understand how we see these and which bias they are, it makes life so much easier. For example, if you want a bright green, use the yellow that reflects green and the blue that reflects green. So if we mix lemon yellow here with cerulean blue, we get really acidic, vibrant greens, which is perfect for spring, early spring pictures and foliage or as an underwash for other greens to go on. If we want a mid green well just keep one of those colours because they reflect green so in this instance we'll keep lemon yellow and we'll use the opposite blue ultramarine because it doesn't reflect green and when they're mixed together you get very mid tone greens and no matter how much we mix those two together we will never get the vibrancy of the lemon yellow and cerulean mix. You can get another mid-tone by swapping the yellow. We'll go with cadmium yellow this time and using the green base blue which is cerulean and when they're together you get another mid-shade of green but it's different to that one. And again, no matter how much we mix a cerulean and cadmium together, we will never get that vibrancy of the initial green of lemon yellow and cerulean. Now, these two mid-greens are perfect for summer pictures or early autumn, or a shading on your spring trees or foliage. If you want a dark green or a dull green, you use the yellow and the blue that don't reflect green. So we'll use cadmium yellow... and ultramarine. Now when those mix it's a very dark dirty dull green as you can see totally different to those three because this time we've got no reflectance of green in our paint pigment. Perfect for autumn and winter colours really. Um, now if you want to go even darker for a very dark wintry foliage or grasses Use yellow ochre with your ultramarine. Again, neither of them reflect green, but yellow ochre is a darker version. And that will give you really mucky greens, car keys, army greens. Perfect for spruce trees, that sort of thing. And you can see how close they are, because they're both orange yellow, but the yellow ochre is slightly darker, so therefore the green comes out darker. And another thing that my students struggle with um, when they come to me is how to mix a turquoise or a duck egg type colour. Now, cerulean blue is already green based, so you're halfway there already. It's just finding the right mix to make that more turquoise. And actually, if we add a small amount of yellow ochre, you can see how beautiful and turquoise that colour becomes. And once they're dry you'll be able to see them in their true colour. Obviously because watercolours dry one third lighter. So we've seen here in a very short space of time how I will always get a bright green if I mix lemon yellow and cerulean, a mid green if I mix lemon yellow and ultramarine or cerulean blue and cadmium yellow. I will get a dark green if I mix cadmium yellow and ultramarine, 
a dark khaki green with yellow ochre and, ultram and ultramarine and a turquoise if I mix yellow ochre and cerulean. So by understanding how we see each of these colours here and how they reflect other colours in their pigment, it really does help to get the right colour green every single time.